Today, over 100 million Christians worldwide are harassed, oppressed, or killed for their faith in Jesus Christ. Open Doors is positioned on the front lines, standing and strengthening persecuted Christians in countries like North Korea, where it is illegal to own a Bible or your family can be thrown in a prison camp for their beliefs. Paul writes in 1 Corinthians, If one part suffers, every part suffers with it. If one part is honoured, every part rejoices with it. It's time to awaken to the reality of the persecuted church. In 1955, Brother Andrew, a newly committed Christian, began smuggling Bibles into Eastern Europe, behind the Iron Curtain, because he believed that everyone should have the freedom to know Jesus. He was given the scripture, Revelation 3.2, wake up, strengthen what remains and is about to die. Since his first trip, Open Doors has expanded to work around the world in 60 countries, providing Bibles and training for those who need it most. We train leaders in their homeland, so they can be the light of the gospel in the darkest places. In 1981, we delivered one million Bibles to a secluded harbor in China and was described by Time Magazine as one of the boldest missionary ventures of all time. In 1985, we delivered five million pieces of literature into Latin America where thousands of youth were stirred to share their faith in Christ. 1989, we sent one million New Testament Bibles into Russia and a seven year prayer campaign for the Soviet Union finished. 1991 marked the start of a 10 year prayer campaign for the church in the Muslim world. A believer from Egypt praying for their nation said, we don't know how to pray for little things anymore because we know that we are praying to a big God. This is what drives our work. God works in unexpected places and we see that happening all around the world. Open Doors is working in over 60 countries. Every year we deliver over 2 million Bibles and Christian literature, serve over 200,000 Christians in need, train over 250,000 people, and share the stories of the persecuted church. We are a part of the body of Christ, called to the persecuted church, the people of prayer, seeking to live by faith, devoted to Jesus Christ and his call, motivated solely for the glory of God. Open doors. Together, we serve the persecuted church.